We're now going to show you how to maintain and use your aqua valve. The aqua valve consists of several parts. These consist of the top float, which moves up and down like so, a yellow silicon, two cylindrical discs with a stud designed in each disc. The top float is easily removed by sliding from left to right and then repeating the process from right to left. The main body, which has a hole in the top, which is sealed by the yellow silicon in the top float. A yellow collar, which is unscrewed and screwed onto the aqua valve nozzle. And if I turn the aqua valve upside down, you'll notice when you receive your aqua valve, there's a cardboard packer. This is simply removed, and which allows the bottom float to move freely. To remove the bottom float completely from the aqua valve main body, simply unclip, reposition, apply a bit of pressure and click back into place. You'll notice that there's also a yellow silicon in the bottom float. This is used to cut off the water supply of the aqua valve. Before using your aqua valve, you'll need to ensure that it's preset. It's a very simple procedure. All you have to do is ensure that the yellow silicon in the top float and the hole in the main body make a good seal when the top float is lowered onto the hole. Hold your aqua valve at eye level and then with your finger or thumb just adjust the yellow silicon so that when you're holding it at eye level the yellow silicon is sitting parallel on the hole below. This will ensure that you've got a good seal and the aqua valve floods and drains as it's designed to do. If you think that your aqua valve isn't flooding and draining then you haven't achieved a good seal between the hole and the silicon. Simple adjustment will remedy this and the aqua valve will then work. Connecting pipe to the aqua valve is very simple. Unscrew the yellow collar, slide the yellow collar over one end of the pipe Dip the pipe in hot water, this will soften the pipe and allow you to connect it easily to the nozzle. Push the pipe onto the nozzle, take the yellow collar and tighten, only finger tight, don't over tight, only gently, a couple of turns and that will lock it into place. To remove the pipe at the end of the season, simply take away the yellow collar take some hot water once again, pour it over the end of the nozzle and then pull the pipe directly away from the aqua valve. Don't wiggle the pipe because what will happen is that you may fracture the nozzle on the aqua valve. If I turn the aqua valve upside down you'll notice a half moon section on the bottom back of the aqua valve. This half moon section is used to secure the aqua valve in the trays and prevent it from floating. So you find the T section in your tray, it's in the T section you'll find in the two pot tray and the one pot tray. Locate the T, place the half moon above the T and push firmly onto the T in the tray. To ensure that the aqua valve is attached to the tray, simply lift the aqua valve and the tray should come with it. This will then guarantee you that the aqua valve doesn't float and you won't flood your system. To increase the flood level of the water in your tray, simply take steel washers or any washers that weigh approximately 5 grams and place one on one side to increase the flood level of water in your tray to 25 to 30 millimetres. And if you add another washer on the other side, you will increase the flood level in your tray from 30 millimetres to 35 millimetres. So you can have three options, have the aqua valve as it is and a 20 mil flood level. You can add a washer to one side and increase it up to 25 millimetres or you can add a washer on both sides and this will increase it up to 35 millimetres. Always keep your aqua valve clean. By doing so the system will work as it's designed to do. By keeping it clean, all you have to do is ensure that the pots that you put in the tray 
are brushed on the outside and the bottom, removing any compost or perlite stuck to the outside after you've watered the pots. Also, place your lids over the aqua valves to prevent any, any plant debris from above from falling in there. Keeping the aqua valve and the tray clean will ensure that your system works as it's designed to do. At the end of your season, you will want to take your system down and clean your aqua valves. It's very simple. Remove the yellow silicons in the top float and slide the top float away from the main body. Then take the bottom float out, remove the yellow collar. There are several ways that you can clean the aqua valve. One option is to use a toothbrush. The other option is once you've removed all the yellow silicons and put them in a safe place is to put the aqua valve in a dishwasher. So once you're happy that everything's clean, take a paper clip, push it through the nozzle. This will remove any lime scale or sediment that's built up in the nozzle over the season. And then simply put your aqua valve back together. Always ensure that the recesses where the silicons are located are always dry or thoroughly dry to ensure that they go back in. If you have any water trapped in the recesses, you'll find it almost impossible to put the, the silicons back into place. So they simply pop back in like so, clip it into place, and then your aqua valve is ready for the following season.